In the last video, we were reading data from one micro A20 PLC into another one through a SIP messaging instruction. And the issue was we had our inputs here, our handling inputs. Our checkboxes were in bits 18 and 26. But if we look at our original data, it was in 2 and 10. So we have a 32-bit integer, and the top 16 and the bottom 16 are swapped. And to fix that, that is what we're going to use this swap feature for down here. So if we make this true, and you don't need a tag name, you can just type T-R-U-E, and then we download that, and if we open it up, we're at bits 2 and 10, the same as our original PLC. Now, a couple important things as far as where to go from here, because some of you are coming here because you were struggling with that swap instruction, and some of you are coming here because you're going through our Festo Didactic series. Our last video was about reading inputs, and I needed this video already. That's why I separated it out. So your next video will be write messaging on how to write data from one micro 800 to another micro 800. Now, some of you tried this and it did not work. And that's because yours is actually messed up in 8-bit increment. And I know in Studio 5000, we have a swap byte instruction to fix this. Connected Components does not have that. And it is a little bit more difficult. So along with our messaging instruction, I will put it in this playlist right here.